again. I love helping mum in the kitchen, especially when it's feeding time at the zoo. There are lots more items in the kitchen that need to be recycled properly. These are all great for recycling. They just need to be cleaned from the food and icky bits first. Here you go, mum. You also need to remove the lids from glass jars and then put them separately in the recycling. If you break any jars, you can put them in the recycling. Just be careful. Don't believe everything, everything you read about recycling. Depending on where you live, there may be different recycling do's and don'ts. So rather than just check the marks and numbers on your containers, check with your local council and they see their specific rules. For example, we in my Sussex can even recycle black plastic too. If we do have any leftover foods, we put it in a reusable plastic container instead of using cling film. Unfortunately, cling film and other plastic bags like salad bags and cereal bags can't be recycled in your bin at home. They just clog up the clever sorting machines in the materials recycling facility. No problem with this guy though. It's okay dad, I'll sort it for you. Now, this cake box unfortunately has jam on the inside of it, so it can't be recycled while it's like this. Why don't we try give it a quick wipe? Now finally, drinking glasses and Pyrex materials melt at a much higher temperature than glass bottles and glass jars, which means they can't go in the recycling. This stuff just needs to be put carefully in your normal rubbish bin. If you tune in next time, I'll tell you all about recycling after a takeaway night. <laughs>